okay coming to the baseband function we are having end bearing pile friction pile compaction pile tension pile or uplift pile anchor pile fender pile and dolphins batter pile and sheet pile these are the different types of files we will see the individual type of discussion of the each individual pile next we are having the based on material and composition based on material and composition we are having no few more files that is nothing but concrete pile timber pile steel pile composite pile in composite pile either we may con construct by combination of concrete and timber or we can construct by combination of concrete and steel these are the types of piles based on material first one is the concrete pile second one is the timber pile third one is the steel pile fourth one is the composite pile that is combination of concrete either or steel or concrete either timber next we are having the one more type of method of calculation of pile that is based on the method of installation how you are providing or how you are constructing a pile foundation based on that also we are having the types of pile foundation those are driven piles cast in situ pile driven and cast in situ files these are the other three types of files based on the method of installation driven pile means some mechanical equipment by mechanical devices we are inserting the files in by hitting some action we are setting the pile into the soil mass and a cast in situ file means in field itself we are preparing the piles and we are casting and we are inserting into the underground soil driven and a cast in situ in field itself we are preparing and driven into the underground soil mass soil mass and we are cast we are providing the pile foundation these are the different types of pile foundation classification the each individual classification now we will see and if you observe here these are the different types of file foundation based on the material classification if you see here this is the timber pile this is the some cross sectional diameter of the pile and this is the length of the pile this is the diameter of the pile and from this to this this is the length of the pile here in bottom we will provide some sharpness to easily enter into the underground soil to penetrate into the soil mass this is the type one type of the uh, wood foundation based on requirement we will provide for this uh, wood foundation next we are having the steel pipe this is the hollow type structure as well as um, the uh, uh, soil mass structures also will be available the hollow pipe structure we are inserting into the structure and we will fill with some type of material and we will provide this uh, type of steel file foundations also next we are having the steel H type foundation in some construction activities these uh, steel H types will be inserted into the underground soil to increase the maximum amount of load carrying capacity of the soil next one we are having the concrete pile this is the diameter of the concrete pile and this is the length of the pile by inserting this concrete pile into the underground soil the load carrying capacity this settlement will may settlement will may get decrease and load carrying capacity will be increasing and this is the pre cast concrete pile the pre cast concrete piles are uh, casting at the casting yard after construction of the casting yard based on our uh, load carrying capacity they will manufacture this pre cast piles and after, uh, after preparation of this uh, pre cast pile as casting yard they will transfer this uh, pre cast piles to the required site area and they will insert into the soil mass to carry the load carrying capacity of the soil and second one next one is the composite pile the composite pile is a combination of the concrete as well as combination of the steel this type of, this type of piles also uh, useful for construction to increase the load carrying capacity of the soil when different type of soil layers will be available in the ground surface in that situation these composite points we are using for the carrying capacity of the structure or load carrying capacity of the soil these are the pile materials next we are having the based on the function we are having based on function based on the type of requirement we are having end bearing pile friction pile compaction pile tension pile uplift tension pile or uplift pile fender pile batter pile sheet pile we will discuss individual pile end bearing pile it is the type of pile in which the load we are transferring through the pile through end of the or through the point of the pile okay if you observe here suppose this is the ground surface if you see here this is the ground surface from this ground surface we are uh, we are inserted one type of file 
and this is the end or point resistance of the pile and the load what you are applying here it will make it just transfer into this pile and from this point uh, at end it will be distributed into this uh, surrounding side it will be distributed into this uh, side like this the if you transfer the load that type of file will called as the end bearing pile and if you see here here this is the surface structure we are constructing here from this surface structure the load we should have to transfer from the weak side to the deeper strata this is the type of the end bearing pile in this end bearing pile the load will be getting from this point to this point and it will be distributed into the surrounding underground soil mass in this portion the load will be it will make get distributed and here this is the soil as the strong soil or rock and if you see here penetrate to the soft soil bottom or tips rest on the hard strata works as a column for this pile qu equal to qp where qu is the ultimate load carrying capacity qp is the pile load carrying capacity where qu is the ultimate load for ultimate load means after inserting of this pile the soil how much amount of load it can carry where qp is the pile load this pile how much amount of load it can take it can resist that it will be pile load of the capacity end bearing piles are the piles which distribute or transfer the loads through end or point bearing of the point bearing of the piles this is the pile this is the end bearing pile next this is the end bearing pile for this pile qp equal to qp ultimate load qp is the point load or a pile load next we are having the friction pile loose soil extended to a greater depth suppose this is your ground surface and this is the soil available here here the soil what is available here this is having the weak soil weak soil strata in this weak soil strata suppose if you want to construct any structure and if you want to construct the foundation in that type of weak soil we are providing the friction soil friction piles where friction piles distribute the load through the surrounding soils and it will be distributed in this way okay if you see here loose soil extended to a greater depth piles are driven at a depth when the friction resistance is developed equal to load in that case qv equal to qs where qs equal to skin friction that means in the in, in this type of loose soil if you if you provide the uh, friction pile friction pile will get to transfer the load through friction to the surrounding side hence why the load carrying capacity it will may get increased in this friction pile foundation the ultimate load carrying capacity equal to skin, uh, skin friction load carrying capacity total friction resistance can be increased increase in length and diameter of the foundation that means what type of foundation length you are providing how much diameter you are providing based on that the resistance it will may get increased and making pile surface rough how much roughness you are giving to this pile to the surrounding material it will give the more resistance next placing closely all grouping of piles how many number of piles if you are providing based on number of piles also the load carrying capacity of the piles it will make it increase and if you observe here this is the how load carrying capacity will be happening for the friction pile this is the pile okay this, uh, this is the pipe and in the friction pipe the load will be get distributed in this uh, direction this is uh, also we are providing one vent bearing here in this particular type of file the load what is up, acting on top of the file it will be get distributed to the surrounding soils as well as through end or point bearing also it will distribute the load into this bottom of the soil strata this is the how load will be distributing this is the soft material to resist the soft material to give the more friction resistance we are inserting the friction pile friction pile will transfer the load to surrounding soil as well as bottom of the material and if you see here this is the soft soil increasing the stiffness as depth increasing in soft soil when increasing the depth of the foundation the stiffness it will make it increase and load carrying capacity it will make it increase how the friction is developing for this pile this is the diagram next we are having the compaction pile pile do not carry any load for increasing the bearing capacity of the soil okay compaction piles are the piles where the soil strata is in a weak weak and the soil is having very less unit weight it is not that much having load carrying capacity in that situation we will insert some 
temporary piles we will insert some piles which will compact the surrounding soil available here but this piles does not take any maximum amount of loading condition suppose this is your ground surface in this ground surface we are inserting the piles the piles what you are inserting while by using a drain technology while you are inserting the pile into the soil the surrounding soil it will may get compacted and the carrying capacity of the soil will may get increased after that we should want to insert end bearing pile or friction pile we will insert two more piles to increase the load carrying capacity but this compaction piles will compact the surrounding soil next tension file if you see here when structure subjected to uplift due to hydrostatic pressure or overturning movement also or to resist in that situation we are providing the tension piles or uplift piles suppose if you see here this is the large tower structure in large tower tra large tower or transmission tower and here this is the type of the soil available here and if you are constructing the foundation here for this type of large tower structures if any uplift forces upward force uplift force will be happen in that situation we will use the under rim file foundation uh, due to uh, swelling and shrinkage of the soils where maximum it will be in that situation we will use the under rim file foundation this under rim file foundation will give the very more resistance to the soil and increase the load carrying capacity and decrease the settlement of the structure the, this will be called as the bulk we will discuss in our next classes what is meant by under rim file foundation here this is the under rim file and this is the compression file and due to this compression file how the load carrying capacity will be get increasing for the tension file tension files which are used to resist the uplift forces or uplift tensions okay next anchor files this provide anchorage against the horizontal pull from the sheet pulling or any other types of pulling structures where some type of constructions uh, before constructing the structure some elements it will may apply some horizontal pull to the structure in that situation which to resist that pulls we are providing the sheet pile this is the foundation pile and this is the sheet pile and batter pile means some inclination we are providing based on this provision of the sheet pile the horizontal pulls or any inclinations what are available here it will make get decrease next is tender files these are also used to protect water front structure against impact from the ships or other floating object in a harbors and decks while uh, ships entering into the uh, near uh, deck uh, harbor near harbor near deck surface the water what is available here it will give some force to the force to this uh, files in the type of situation we will use the fender files fender files having the large carrying capacity of the water hydrostatic pressure this is the function of fender file next we are having the sheet files sheet files also we will use where the water available force it will be more and while excavating the so while excavating the soil if any water table water lying area is available we are inserting the sheet file to resist the to water hydrostatic forces to resist the loads we will use the sheet files for the pile foundation sheet files also will be constructed as a temporary pile foundation after the construction of that required structure that sheet files will may get uh, removed from the site and if you observe here these are the some images for how practically files are inserting into the ground surface if you see here this is the type of file that are cast in situ in the field itself and here this is the concrete blocks which are used for to give the cover to the uh, that steel pile and these are the already constructed pile and from this pile they will give the column and from this column the load carrying capacity will may get increased and these are the individual file foundation here this is the reinforcement case from this they will uh, uh, provide the column from this column the load will be get, get distributed in this uh, pile foundation pile foundation will be for 3 meter 4 meter 5 meter up to 10 meter 15 meter also will be insert based on the requirement based on the loading condition based on the type of the soil availability this is here they are checking whether the pile is properly inserting or not into the underground soil here this is the person he is checking okay next pile driving technology okay pile driving technology based on method of installation how 
we are inserting the pile into the underground soil that is also one type of pile clarification in some condition by uh, by using of craze or mechanical action we are inserting or drying the pile by action of course we are inserting the pile into the underground surface in some situation we will dig the hole into the required diameter through the cross sectional layer and we will place that pile we will embed it into the concrete we will pour the concrete into the pile and if you see here piles are commonly driven by means of hammer supported by a crane or special device known as pile driver by using some amount of uh, some technique called pile driver by using this pile driver through the required cross sectional diameter through the required length they will by hitting action by hammer they will insert the pile into the underground side hammers adapted for driving the piles are the following types there are different types of hammers which are used to driven the pile into the underground soil mass those are drop hammer single hacking hammer double hacking hammer diesel hammer and a vibratory hammer it will give some vibration and will hit the load in single hacking at a single time single point of time it will give the load drop the action by giving drop and action drop and action like that different types of file foundations are available and if you see here load carrying capacity of the file and how the after inserting of the file the load carrying capacity it will may get increase or it will may get change that will change if you coming to this the load carrying capacity of the file load carrying capacity of the file what is the ultimate load carrying capacity that means suppose this is the ground surface this is the file you are inserting here and here we are applying the load uh, this is the type of the pile after application of before application of the load what is the soil available here how much it can take how much it can carry that we should have to calculate that is the what is ultimate load carrying capacity what is allowable load and how it is determined after inserting this type of file what the soil available here how it can resist that we should have to calculate and if you see here ultimate load bearing capacity of file is defined as maximum load which can be carried which can be carried by a pile and at which the pile continues to sink without further increase of the load okay mag is ultimate load bearing capacity of the file suppose this is the file and if you are applying the load due to this application of the load maximum load which can be carried by pile at which the pile continues to sink due to application of the load the pile will carry and it may further will sink and without causing any further load failure of this type of the pile the allowable load is the safe load which the pile can carry safely which can determine ultimate load bearing capacity dividing by shortfall factor of safety the shallow foundation what you are doing the same type of concept you are aware we are doing here also we are inserting the file after inserting of the file the load what you are applying here it can whether take by the, the soil or not that we should have to discuss how much amount of load it can take and how much factor of factor load we should have to apply and how the load safely distributing the load to the underground soil that we should have to determine for the file foundation also and if you see here this is the load transfer mechanism for the file foundation load transfer mechanism for the file foundation figure gives a single pile of uniform diameter d circular or any other shape and length l driven into a homogeneous mass of soil known physical and static uh, physical properties a statical vertical applied on the top is required to determine the ultimate bearing capacity okay see this is the ground surface and this is the known cross sectional diameter of the pile the known cross sectional diameter of the pile we are taking it as d and this is the length of the pile and here we are applying the load due to application of the load how much amount of load the pile can carry and what is the ultimate load carrying capacity of the soil here that we should have to determine this is the diameter of the pile this is the length of the pile and this is the frictional resistance will be taken by the soil and this is the end bearing resistance will be taken by the soil curve showing by loads carried by the file shaft base or tip of the pile if you are transferring the load from this tip of the pile then it will be called as the end bearing pile if you transfer the load through the surrounding soil then it will be called as the friction pile by combination of end bearing and friction you are transferring the load that it will be called as a composite pile this is the mechanism how load will get transferred to the pile foundation next class we will see the 
load carrying capacity of different types of file formulations in that we are having the static methods dynamic methods in situ penetration test and file load test by uh, by using this method we can estimate or we can calculate the load carrying capacity of the different types of file formulation after that we will see the load carrying capacity of files in a groups of uh, group uh, in sands and clays by using group action up to now this is the topic thank you